So this is just a little torsion bar. You could imagine this being many things. It could be you know, the stem between your bike and your handlebars. It could be a lot of different things. But say it's a part in a broader assembly and some requirement has changed at your interfaces, just like that. So if your interfaces change, so does the generative model and it still satisfies your requirements. So the interplay of parts in an assembly are very much at work here and the ability for teams to uh, contribute their knowledge into these larger generative models without having to remodel the CAD of these shapes. Also, you can see how easy it is to even, say, change the manufacturing process. So right here, I'm just gonna say, you know what, I really want this to ultimately be a cast part. So I'm gonna put draft on it with maybe a five degree draft angle. I'll tell it dire the direction I need it to go in and say okay. And it won't be this crazy looking shape. It's now gonna be a draft design. That'll take a little longer to update because it's, uh, it has to chug a little bit more. There's more computing going on. But this is uh, us moving into this generative era of CAD. And here you can see it's converged on a design with a parting line here and the draft angle we specified.